Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Riddhi Tuwa. In case you're new here, welcome. So as you guys can already tell by the title in today's video, I am going to try out Inside Cosmetics products. I have not used any product from Inside Cosmetics ever before. I am excited, but I'm nervous at the same time, okay? I'm always excited to try out new products and hence I am excited. I don't want anything to break my skin out, but I hope hope these are good products you know so before getting right into the video i would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like this video give me a big thumbs up and now let's get into it so i don't have any primer to try on i don't find primers to be that necessary and i already have so many primers in my collection i was like no i don't need any so let's move forward i already have my moisturizer and SPF on in case you were wondering. I'm nice and moisturized. So for my eyes, I only have this metallic glitter eyeshadow. It's a water-based, silicone-free, paraben-free, long-wearing, water-resistant glitter eyeshadow. And I got this in the shade 10 Galaxy. And this is how it looks. It's like a mixture of green, blue, and violet. It's actually a lot more green than I expect the galaxy to be before i can use that liquid eyeshadow i definitely need to use some concealer underneath so here we have the inside cosmetics 2x cover master concealer and i got this in the shade 01 sun beige now i ordered these products very long ago and i can remember that the shade range was not that good maybe they only had like i don't know six shades in this in their foundation even so that is definitely something that is not good oh the packaging actually looks very nice and sleek mm -hmm. the tag does not mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just gonna remove this tag because it's gonna bother me so i don't know if this shade will work for me or not i hope it does <gasps> how am i supposed to use this do you guys see that it does not have an applicator or is it just inside? I was just praising about the packaging. So this is what I'm doing. And whatever is in here, I'm gonna take that on my finger because that's the only thing that I can do now. And it does seem like to be the right shade for me. And keep in mind, this was the lightest shade that they have and I, won't consider myself to be lightest of all like my sisters all of them four of them are like lighter than me so they definitely should have more shades lighter than this honestly i am loving the way it looks because it's like my perfect shade it literally just looks like my skin. It does not look like I have concealer on my eyelids, but it yet managed to cover that darkness I have. So yeah, I am impressed so far. And now I'm gonna move to the liquid eyeshadow. Okay. Okay. pigment actually it's a very 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 sheer formula it's almost it's just like glitter on your eyelids it looks a little underwhelming i know but i love my subtle looks so i'm not hating that if you will okay so it is buildable as you guys can see which i'm really loving because if i just want to have like a wash of color i can do that with it or I can build it up a little bit more. Don't expect it to look exactly like this, but it's like almost there, you know what I mean? It does look pretty smooth on my eyelids, which I'm loving. Now, would I call it a galaxy? Not really, it's not a galaxy shade to me. It is definitely more on a green teal side for me. So yeah, if you are looking for that opaque galaxy, very pigmented eye look, not for you but if you're looking for just like a sheer wash of shimmer on your eyelids then this is definitely a good one so far there is no fallout we will see into that once it dries out obviously 
So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and now I'm gonna move to the Ultra Thin Second Skin Long Wear Foundation. It's long wear, it has SPF for 15, it says it is lightweight, waterproof, easily spread, silky and smooth coverage, medium to full coverage. And I got this in the shade 03 Sun Beige. Again, the shade range is not that good okay since it's such a liquidy foundation definitely shake it up i'm gonna go with one drop first uh oh this is definitely not the shade for me oh maybe i spoke too soon it does seem to work for me this, oh, I hate, hate the smell of it. Before I do the rest of my face, this is the side with the foundation, not my forehead. And this is without the foundation. In just one drop, it has definitely covered up my redness. Maybe I'm gonna try and build it up. So I'm gonna take one more drop. By the way, the brush I'm using is the Pack 265 brush. Always dab your foundation in do not swipe your foundation this foundation actually does have a beautiful beautiful glow to it as you guys can see it looks very pretty and fresh Ooh, i'm loving this foundation but that smell is bad it actually does look like my second skin actually i can't smell it now yeah no it is actually vanishing away, which is good. Hmm. Now, I'm gonna move to the Insight Pro Conceal Palette. And there you go. It has some sort of a condensation on it. I'm gonna go into that orange shade to correct my dark circles. Oh, that's really orange. Eh. I don't know if that's the correct shade for my skin tone, usually. I stick to peach correctors. I'm also going to use this around my lips because I do definitely have pigmentation around my lips. This doesn't seem to have any smell to it. It is good. It just feels like a regular corrector. I don't know if there is something unique to it, honestly. But yeah, again, this shade does not seem to be right for me. I have a few breakouts right over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. They are a little red. So I can use the green corrected over there, you know. Wow, these are really creamy, I want to say. I just literally just took a little bit. And it's like going such a long way. <laughs> I don't know how I will cover that now. That's too much. I think so that this is my first time ever using a green corrector. I never really correct my pimples out, if so you will. I mean, they are natural. Everyone has them. So why hide them so much like, ooh, that does not exist. We are going to move back to the concealer. By the way, I am trying this Coke for the first time, the Coca-Cola Vanilla, and it tastes like Coke float, like when you add vanilla ice cream to your Coke, and I love that, so I love this, you know? So, I'm gonna go back to my concealer. <sighs> I don't know how I will use this. This is literally stabbing me under my eyes. I guess that much should be enough. Let's see. If so, it will cover my orange under eyes. That would be a great test for this full coverage concealer. And I'm using the pack 272 brush to blend it out. Okay, so it did actually cover up my under eyes beautifully. I don't see any more of that orange corrector underneath there. I actually do think that I love this concealer, but I just will have to throw it out because I won't put in that much of effort 
to use this like without the wand even this concealer seems to have a beautiful glow to it it is not a drying concealer at all i'm now going to take this concealer place it on top of that green concealer you know what i almost feel like doing don't call me mad for it but i sort of want to brighten up my under eyes so i'm gonna take a little bit of this purple corrected i'm gonna use my concealer brush and i'm just gonna take a little bit like the littlest bit amount possible uh, let's see what that does just that much it looks gray but then all you need to do is to sort of like blend it out and it looks fine. This could be a good brightening up technique, you know, to use a purple concealer. Maybe I use a little too much on my nose, but it looks brightened. I'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush. See? Oh, oh. I'm gonna use it on my chin. I'm gonna use it where I usually apply my highlighter have you seen that uh, tiktok recently that people apply a white uh, concealer on their highlighting points i think this is a better technique to apply a purple corrector instead because it is not going to wash you out it will just rather add a little bit of the color see it looks pretty brightened up going on top of it with my foundation brush to really like blend it into my skin wow wow i love this technique i don't know if people use this technique or not boy did i just like invented a trick look wow so if you ever need to brighten up your under eyes or any part of your face go in with a little bit of the purple character just a little bit don't get overboard you just need the littlest amount blend it in well and you are brightened up oh my god i love it i'm proud of myself moving forward with the video we have inside spf 24 instant glow illuminating highlighter Ooh, highlighter this does not look like a highlighter to me again it has two powders in it the powder underneath has like these shimmer specks in it which i'm not a fan of at all so i'm gonna stay away from that powder like i don't want shimmer on my face and then underneath you have a cheap sponge and they had six shades in this i got the shade zero one natural beige i don't know why i'm using this sponge honestly i never ever would in my life use this sponge so but i'm gonna move to my brush now for my other under eye it is definitely a mattifying powder even this has a weird smell to it i don't like powders okay because i have a dry skin type it is blurring me out it is setting me it is also sort of like mattifying me which i don't like to be mattified if so you will but if you do have an oilier skin type i think this is going to be just fine you know but i do want to say that the base does look pretty good it looks a little more powdered but once i have setting spray on i know that it's gonna look fine now i'm gonna move on to the inside do your two in one contour and highlighting stick so i'm gonna use the contour side first it is going on pretty easily it's a very creamy formula i want to say but i hope it blends out easily as well Ugh. oh my god that's such a bad bad nose contour i think i'm gonna stick with my foundation brush 
to blend this contour again I just like to go in like dabbing motions Woo, that blended pretty well 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 I really didn't expect it to be that good well it's creamy it glides on your face very easily it is blending so easily it is not too pigmented which is a good thing especially if you are a beginner some cream products just i don't know are very hard to blend into your skin this is like a seamless seamless blend it is just like really meshing into my skin beautifully and also the shade is so pretty now onto the other side of it we got the highlighter so i'm gonna swatch it for you so it's like a light gold shade so i use this on my hand because i have other highlighter to use on my face but straight away i can tell that i'm not a fan of this highlighter because it does have those big chunky glitters in it i like a very smooth highlighter look i don't want shimmer particles on my face this has shimmer particles you know now on to the highlighter this is the well it is just called highlighter does it have a shade name yes the shade name is 01 momid scale Ooh, this looks nice and this does not sh seem to have shimmer particles in it so just using my finger because it's like a cream highlighter it's very natural i almost can't see it it is literally just giving me a glow i'm gonna use this concealer brush to apply it now yeah see it sort of just blends out to be nothing it does not really have a base to it if so i will wow that's beautiful it just literally is looking like a glow you need to use a lot of it that's something that i want to say i for some reason think that it's gonna look beautiful on bare skin so now uh we don't have a blush from inside cosmetics do they have a blush i'm not too sure you know what i'm gonna say something my face is creasing a lot and it feels very heavy and honestly i don't think so that it's the foundation or the concealer i think it's the corrector palette because these are very emollient and creamy so yeah not a fan of this or maybe i just used way too much you know i use the orange and the purple on the same spots so maybe less is more obviously and moving forward we have a eyeliner now listen i did not order this eyeliner they just sent it to me by mistake but i have it so i'm gonna use it i'm just gonna create a thin line and that's about it it's a very 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 liquidy eyeliner and also i prefer pen eyeliners they just give me a much better grip so then we have the inside cosmetics lash extension waterproof mascara and this is how the wand looks i do have a feeling that i'm gonna love this mascara so let's get into it you almost can't see my lashes because of the liner you know what there's not a lot of product on this wand it is almost not depositing any product i feel like it's like i need to dip back in a lot in order to get product on my eyelashes you know but otherwise it's a nice mascara but will i like ever repurchase it is it my favorite no not really moving forward we have the super line liner in the shade 11 bare alert and we also have a sharp knit with it it does not look like a bare shade whatsoever it 
comes out to be a little lighter than what you see in the packaging, but I wanna say that I'm impressed. It's creamy and it's pigmented. Glides on pretty easily and and it's transfer proof. Like maybe just a little bit of transfer, but it just feels very stuck to my lips now, which is great. And now we are on to our last product. This is the matte lipstick. I hate this packaging. It looks so cheap. Anyways, matte lipstick, long wear, true color, super long lasting, high color payoff, glides flawlessly, soft matte finish, one stroke application i got this in the shade a16 warm nude again a very very cheap packaging it's so like wobbly in there it's warm because it's orange but is it nude how is this nude in sight cosmetics in what world is this a nude shade I don't know what to say. So I'm actually going to let that lip liner be there. I'm just gonna apply a nude lipstick that is actually nude. Okay, you guys, so that is my full face of Inside Cosmetics. I definitely would like to go in with a true nude lip color because this is like pink this is not my shade if so you will this okay i just broke it this is the condition I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, do not forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if there is a particular brand or a product that you guys want me to try out and give my review on, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you all next time. Till then, stay safe, stay happy. Bye.